Greetings, this is Frosty Thundertrod, and welcome to Rule the Waves 2. I'm going to be playing as Great Britain. This is one of three um, Let's Plays I'm currently recording. I'm also going to do Pathfinder Kingmaker, an Arcanium of Steamworks, and Magic Obscura. Let's get started here with the new. I'm going to do a 1900 start. I'll be playing as Great Britain. Change my name to Thundertrod. And now, uh, Hersher Peace Deals, yes. Let's go hmm, super large fleet size. It'd be more fun to have more ships to play with. I'll go ahead and uh, overwrite my learning campaign here. Uh, I'm not going to build a legacy fleet because I kind of like the challenge of using the game's bad designs or I'm guessing my predecessor's bad designs. Here we go. This is a very old computer so it takes a bit to work. Soon, I hope, really, really soon I'm going to have a modern computer. Instead of this 10 year old um, 955 CPU that I've got now. It's taking a bit to propagate everything. And you wait. Of course, the problem with a old AMD uh, 955 in today's computers it was a great processor for its day, but its day is long past. All right, so let's see what the AI has given us for a fleet. Well, already I see we have some of these um, destroyers with uh, accommodation issues. Well, some of these battleships, my tonnage don't look too bad. Let's take a look at their design. So what do we got? 12-inch uh, guns. Round six and secondaries, tertiaries. <laughs> okay. Um, only the AI can really get away with doing this. Um, overweight by this amount. Um, when I have, to, when it comes time for me to rebuild, I'm going to be having a hard time with the fact that the ships are so badly overweight to start with. Okay, so Rodney's okay. I didn't check his armor. Now, uh, let's see. How's the Royal Sovereign? Um, its belt armor is okay. Decent speed for its era. A little bit more ammo. Same main guns. A little fewer secondaries. Okay. So, Millie's. Okay. Okay, belt. Current's okay. Yeah. Wow, this is kind of a bad one because I don't have the uh, tech really for these secondaries, so they're going to have a huge rate of fire penalty. They should, really should be casemates. All right. More Rodneys, Royal Sovereigns. Okay. So let's take a look at my armored cruisers. Uh, oh, wow. This is something the AI does. I don't know why they do this. They put a whole bunch of empty turrets in there, so all these turrets here are just sucking up weight with no guns in them. And only got three inch guns for a secondary. So this thing is terrible, really. It's gonna be, wow, well, it's just terrible. Six inch guns, four six inch guns is not enough to do anything. All these empty turrets are just sucking up weight for no good reason. Three inch um, secondary guns ain't gonna do nothing. So these things here are gonna go for foreign station. They're gonna just be my foreign station ships. Maybe I could use them as raiders because merchants don't care. Six inch gun will kill a merchant just fine. Hmm. Speed is okay. 
Uh, belt is okay. It looks like they're all on foreign station anyway. All the full class, they're going to foreign station. All right. Now let's check out the Andromedas. These are armored cruisers too, but they're kind of small armored Oh, wow. It's two 10-inch guns. Okay. Speed priority. Yeah. I don't like that 1.5 inches a deck. But otherwise, it's kind of an okay ship. I think with a rebuild, we can turn this into something useful. But still, only two guns, even if they are 10-inch guns, which is the biggest ship guns you can have in on on normally on an armored there's a way to get around that though i'll probably do that when i start designing my own ships but these are okay so they're also going to go to foreign stations all right so Check out the Cressy class. So, all right. Four nine inch guns. Uh, 14 seven inch secondary guns. Okay, now this is a good ship. I like this ship. Um, when I rebuild it, I'll probably reduce the size of the secondaries a little bit. I'll reduce them down to six inch and to those three inch tertiaries. Which will free up a lot more space. Uh, deck is good at 2 inches. Belt is good at 5 inches. Yeah, I like this. And most importantly, it has 9 inch main guns. So it doesn't get a rate of fire penalty. I like these. So. Both of these are already in Northern Europe. So they can stay there. And we have more of these nibbles. Nibble. Oh. Nibble, well, I don't know. All right, foreign station. All right. And I guess these three here, we're going to go to reserve. And eventually you're going to just, I'll probably use these three once an actual war comes along. Now let's check out my light cruiser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very standard design. Good amount of six inch gun. Uh, the three inch secondaries are completely unnecessary, so I'll probably get rid of them when it comes time to be rebuilt. Don't really like the armor. But it's got good speed, so these are okay. But when it comes time to rebuild them, I'll get rid of these secondaries. Armor's going to be what it's going to be, but these are okay. All right, so now let's check out the champion. This is kind of a heavy light cruiser, so got good hopes for this one. And what do we have? Oh boy, AI did some of those empty turrets again. So we got uh six um six inch guns with a broadside of five. Yeah. I mean, not bad overall for a light ship, light cruiser. When three knots, once again, I don't like the armor scheme they use, but it's what they gave me, so I'll have to do with it. The three inch, three inch secondaries are completely useless. A good amount of ammo, good speed. And once again, the ship is way overweight. Um, as far as building, my, building it myself, I'd never be able to build a ship that was this badly overweight. Constant open design. Oh boy. Bunch junk. Now this one is way, way, way. I'm tempted to almost scrap this entire class just to get off. Four inch guns on a light cruiser, especially here at the beginning of the game, are just so 
nearly useless. And then three inch secondaries, why? There's no reason to have three secondaries when you only have four inch main guns. And to make matters even worse, they're using the one, two, three, and four turrets instead of the A and Y turrets, which would be the same number of guns for half the number of turrets. Uh, no armor on the secondaries. Yeah, this this ship is terrible. Um, so it's going to get replaced very quickly. And I have a feeling the Cordelia class is going to be much the same. Let's open this design. Yep. All right, this one's slightly better. Since it is using the A and Y instead of the 1, 2, 3, and 4. But still, why are you putting 3 inch secondaries on when you only have 4 inch main? At least this ship isn't overweight. I'll probably just use this one as a raider for the time being. Alright. Calypso. Open this one. Let's see what we got. Okay. Five inch main guns. Um uh, the ship is okay. Once again, I don't like their armor scheme, but I mean it's entirely reasonable. Three inch sec no secondaries, good, so just five inch main guns. This is not a bad loadout. This is something I've used a lot. The only difference is I usually spread out some armor a little bit. You know, so I would give it, you know, 2.5 inches of turret, you know, 2.5 belt, 2 inches of deck, and then 2 inches basically everywhere else. Um, well, you can put 2 inches in secondary, but it doesn't do anything since it doesn't have any secondary guns. Okay, this is an okay ship that I can live with. All right, Pandora. Let's hope this isn't Pandora's box. So what do we have here? All right, 21 knots, uh, five inch guns, no secondaries. That's good armament. Pretty much the same as the last one. Yeah, this is another halfway decent ship. I'm not sure what the extra weight is. Tur tur top deck. I like to have two inches of deck at least to protect my uh, citadel from splinters because with 1.5 inches of deck, you know, something can hit my turret and then splinter down through in my engines and knock out my engines. Not exactly a, a desirable outcome, but this is an occasion. So Pandora wasn't Pandora's box. Let's see. Cordelia. Have a look, see at these. Uh, now we're back into the junk again. Hmm, not enough deck armor. Nothing for extended. Or secondaries, even though it does have secondary guns. At least this ship isn't overweight. Terrible 4-inch. Terrible 4-inch gun. Alright. Or Pandora. All right now we're down here into the uh, destroyers. Waverly class destroyer. So we got two three inch guns, two torpedo tubes, and four two inch guns. Okay. Yeah, this one's really badly overweight. Once again, I would not be able to make this one myself. The Rother has cramped accommodations. So this is a junk ship going right into Mothball. I'll just use it for trade protection. But Waverly. So let's see what we have under construction now. Ah, the Majestic. Bit of historical fact here, the HMS Majestic was the first pre-Dreadnought battleship. Kind of defined the entire gen genre. Let's see, open the design, what do we got here? Uh, four 12 inch guns, 14 6 inch secondaries, 16 3 inch tertiaries. Tertiaries are useless. Um, 
Speed's okay. Armor's good. 11 inch belt. So this is going to have a bit of longevity. It'll be able to survive a little ways into the game. Probably up until 1920. Matter of fact, being a 16... A uh, thousand ton ship. This is actually a good candidate for a CVL conversion at some point. Just that it's got a little bit too much armor, but in reality, you can actually remove armor from ships. But here in Rule the Waves 2, you can only remove turn armor, you can't remove belt armor. Alright, but this is a halfway decent ship that, we, that I can live with. Now let's check out the Leviathan. Oh, that is a very light battleship. Let's open the design and have a look at it. 10 inch guns, uh, 6 inches of belt. I have no idea why this is a battleship. This should be an armored cruiser. It's got 20 knots of speed. Let me try. Hmm. So why is this a battleship? <laughs> Only got 10 inch guns. Has 20 knots of speed. I really have no idea why this is considered a battleship. Maybe it's how many secondaries it's got. Let's lock it down. Where are these tertiaries? Now let's try. Now it's still identified as a B. Why is it a B? Or 20. Why not? Maybe it's because it's weight. All right. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess it's a because it's not 21 knots instead of all right so this is something we can come back to later this is actually a really good armored cruiser as it's configured right now but I'm gonna go ahead and um Save this design. No. Yeah, so. But these two are getting canceled because they're a live they're gonna be a liability. There we go. They're gone. Let's check out the NAD. NAD. Nine. What do we have here? Ooh. No. No, just no. These are terrible. All right. Carter class. Trapped. All right. Good. Let's take a look at the uh, Two inch guns. Three torpedoes. 27 knots. These are okay for their time. All right. Yeah, I have a good amount of monthly balance, but I have no actual funds right now. So let's go and do some. Nocturnal things. Alright. At this point, 
AP against a battleship is not gonna do anything. So we're gonna go EG everything for firing against battleship. Armored cruiser. Uh four and six inch aren't gonna pierce an armored cruiser. Um seven to ten inch might at short range. Even 11 inch won't penetrate, even a battleship gun won't penetrate an armored cruiser at long range at this point. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm gonna reduce this. I'll have to change this later as so I get some penetration technology. All right. Now, training priorities, gunnery and torpedo warfare, warfare. I've tried night fighting. As far as I can tell, night fighting does nothing. If you have poor visibility, the AI will always see you and fire torpedoes before you ever see them. Generally speaking, you'll start getting hit with torpedoes before you even see the AI. So, I'm convinced that night fighting does nothing. Target is a light cruiser. Now, battleship guns on a light cruiser at close range can overpenetrate. So here we're going to go for HE, and we're going to go AP at long range. Uh, we're going to do AP at every range for seven to ten inch guns, and for the four to six inch guns, yeah, this is. Okay. Save changes, save changes. Oh, right here. There we go. Now let's go for research. Right, you can go up to 12% on research now. And part of me, I'm born, I go 11%. Because after 10%, you get diminishing returns, but I can't resist pushing it just a little bit. Now, every one of these categories is actually kind of useful. Um, explosive shells, I would say, is probably the least useful right now. So it goes to low. But what we really want as soon as possible is increased AP. So that goes to high and fire control. High. Naval guns can stay at medium. Um, I find that you won't put naval guns to high doesn't really do much good because there's a bit of a scripted thing with um, naval guns so you can only get them as fast as you can and you can usually buy them quicker than you can uh, research them. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop um, naval guns to low. Uh, torpedo technology, that's good. Submarines. Um, yeah. Light forces and torpedo warfare, that's good. Um, ship design advanced. There's some argument that says you should put this to high just to maximize your advantage and really get into the dreadnought race before anybody else can even think about it. Um, so, should I do it? I got two on low and two on high right now. So, if I go high on ship design, that's going to slow everything else down. And really, if I was going to do another one on high, I think I would want subdivision and damage. Oh, why not? Let's just go for it. We'll just keep it up that way for the first couple of years, and we'll come back and switch it. All right. For time being, I'm not all that interested in um, dealing technology or even doing any sort of subdiffuse whatsoever. 
when I do, I kind of actually want to go after Germany because they do have the um, advantage in damage control. Yeah. Armor and damage control. And AP projectiles. So I think I'm going to put some here into Germany. See, what does France get? Uh, hmm. Harden AP Penetrator. They don't really get much in the way of bonus. Not like Germany does. Russia. Active Mine Warfare. Don't care about that. Hmm. Radar and Electronics. You know, that's, that's a hell of a research advantage, you know, later on in the game. Japan gets quite a bit of research advantage. Let's see, light forces and torpedo. What does Italy get? Uh, ship design, full turrets, motor torpedo boats. Yeah. Some technology <laughs> that talk about someone that's gonna be a long time away. Alright, so yeah, I think I'll just spy on Germany for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and spy on France too. I'd like to steal the hardened AP penetrator from But most importantly it's France and any Brit is honor bound to hate France. Looks like we have a little bit of tension with the United States. I don't really care if I fight them right away. I kind of want to tangle with Germany or France right first. I don't mind tangling with Russia, but it doesn't have that much to offer. All right, let's end the first turn. Uh, yeah, some ships built. Interesting there, really. Start building some docks. Now, need to start work on my key ships. So, one of the most important things I think we're going to need right now, we're going to need a good light cruiser. We've got some okay light cruisers, but I need a good light cruiser. what kind of junk the AI gives us yeah this actually isn't that bad it's not what I want to do but it's really not that bad of a shit okay so get all these turrets we're gonna put eight inch guns on this and double turrets oh Why? Now, I'm put 10 5 inch secondaries. Good. No tertiary. Protected cruiser armor scheme. That's the only way that this will work. Uh, so, belt to. 0.5 belt extended is deck extended is 2 conning towers 2.5 turrets 0.5 turret top 2 secondaries 2.5 all right so now i'm gonna have to drop speed a little bit there we go 21 knots Torpedo each side. Uh, one hundred and thirty rounds. That's good. Let's check this. All right. Go to casemates. Now this is my favorite light cruiser. 
fine. Got 21 knots, which is, you know, completely acceptable for this time. Uh, it's got good armor around. Can take on just about any other light cruiser. Um, if it um, doubles up, it can even take on armor cruisers. But it can't take on an armored cruiser one on one, but it can two on one an armored cruiser. Not a good armored cruiser, but you know, an average armored cruiser it can. So, and I got 58 tons of weight remaining for um, upgrades later. Is the turbine class. Well, I'm going to rename it after my hometown. Well, this isn't, this isn't where I currently live, but this is where I grew up. So now I got the, that design code. Now I'm going to design a armored cruiser that kind of breaks the rules. Let's start with the Majestic design. All right. Now for Majestic, drop the belt. Two five inches. Belt extended. Get dropped to two. Duck two is fine. Duck extended. You need two. Conning tower. Five turrets. Then go nine. For top, that's good. Secondaries. 3.5, that's good. All right. Three of these tertiary guns. Size of the hat. Twenty knots. Got pretty good torpedo armament. Got a lot of leftover weight, actually. That's kind of surprising. Uh, hmm. So reliability. Do long range? Nope. No oh, extreme. And long range. Now, check design. Yes. All right. Monmouth. Okay. This is excellent. Now, this is a armored cruiser with 12 inch guns, does 22 knots, reliable engines, and long range. This thing is going to be my workhorse. It's going to go all around the world and start fights, and it's going to be a carrier conversion around 1920 or so. There we go. I can't afford that. Dang it. But, okay, I'll be able to come back here and do it. Yep. Uh, Germans have a rebellion to deal with. There we go. Now I got those two designs in the cooking. Just click through some turns here. Yes, let's go to the build screen. That's good. Five of the South Haven class. When these come online, I'm going to get rid of some of these terrible 4-inch gunned ones. Yep. 
Alright. Uh, boat was fishing in restricted waters. Good. Check on. Go sack. Pressure hall. Don't care about that. And there we go. Come on. So once these finish up, I'll get some more Monmouth building. These are essentially battle cruisers at this point. Uh, let's see, Italian ship, battleship. Wow. Oh um, wow, they're gonna call that a battleship? Two ten-inch guns? Ah, <laughs> I can't wait to fight something like this. Five-inch belt. I mean. Even with the terrible penetration of, you know, beginning of the game, my guns can go right through this like it's not even there. Hmm. Gotcha Bay is now independent. Koningsberg Corning, class? Uh, give it maximum publicity. Balance, it's okay. Uh, yeah, this is no concern to us. I don't want to fight Italy. There's no reason for us to fight Italy. Even though that ship that they call the battleship, that thing would be just target practice. Some good technology peeping through. Uh, we'll spell doom for our proud nation. Heavy secondary battery? Alright. That's not really useful technology, but it's a stepping stone. Alright, one year down. Send a strong squadron. Well, Russia and the United States looks like the first two volunteers. Uh... Okay, so I better check my here. Oh, we high province, huh? Fortifications, let's put some guns there. And also let's get ready to fight over here on North American East Coast. About to do that on your bases over here. That's why I can bring over a substantial fleet to fight the Americans. I'll have to come back and do Bermuda next turn. Two docks are complete. Ah, the Magnificent has been... Let's take a look at this French armored... 5 inch belt, 4 9 inch guns. Okay, this is a solid ship. I like this ship. Good, go, good going, France. 23 knots. Improve the bases here. Build some fortifications over here. French gun to Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, Brunswick, this will help protect my holdings against American um, invasion early in the war. They have, these fortifications do have some value. It won't really 
do all that much. I mean, every once in a while you can get a battle where you can pull the enemy in front of your guns and, you know, they might do something. But for the most part, um, guns just serve to keep the enemy away from an area more than they go for actually sinking anything. Turns. Uh, yeah, everybody knows the United States Navy likes to ram ships occasionally. Right. Check is done. Good. Some AP penetrator. Uh, bigger destroyers, pressure hull. So we're making good progress here on technology. Go ahead and start building docks again. All right, let's build some more Monmouth. Hello, one of those going. All right. The Magnificent has finished her working up. Okay. Hmm, more budget, yes. So, with this extra budget, let's start another armored cruiser. Majestic has finished her working up. Uh, six, there we go. Batteries are finishing up. Double bottom, that's good. Love some torpedo defense. I've got 1,500 in spare budget yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, come on France, I want me some Frenchie. Got the budget now, let's start another. Ooh, the Essex. Oil's well, been discovered in Haiti. The Rainbow's been commissioned. Barton has been commissioned. Still, and South Haven, yes. I don't really want to fight Russia, and right now there's real danger if I did go to war, it'd be against both France and Russia at the same time, which would put my colonial holdings in severe danger. But I don't want to do that. Alright, so I need some trade protection now. Alright, 600 tons, 5-inch guns. Things too fast. Right. So, one inch of belt. There we go. Uh, deck. Can I put an inch of deck on it? No, I can't. Okay, wife just woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Next turn. More My Light Cruisers are being commissioned. Uh, 
Yeah, let him take it over. I can take it away from him then. <laughs> wow, got a lot of monthly budget to work with here. 8,000. So let's go ahead and... Well, I was designing a... I actually finished... I don't think I actually finished that, did I? Nope. Alright, so let's go back to that Corvette I was working on. Alright, 600 tons, 20 knots, 5 inch guns, 2.5 inches of turret, one of turret top, uh, 1 inch of belt. Okay. And this looks good enough. Uh, and I'll use these for trade protection. That one inch of belt will be enough to protect it from most destroyer guns. You can't keep up with the destroyers, but it only has to keep up with the merchants. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, French battleship. 11 inch guns, uh, 7 inch secondaries. The secondaries are too big and this armor is kind of light. I think almost, I'll have to check, but I think my 12 inch and 13 inch guns can actually penetrate that. Alright, go to the build screen. Build a full dozen of these. And while we're at it, I'll throw out some more. Uh, let's see. Is it? There it is, Monmouth. And two more Monmouth buildings. This is looking very good. Uh, they're probably just doing maneuvers. Don't fret about it. Okay, since those ships are finished their working up, it is time to get rid of some of these really, really, yeah. You four, you're gone. All right. Early coastal submarines. There's no point in building those, they're kind of useless right now. Ah, uh, San Marco. Private docks. <laughs> That's a strong arms industry, it's a foundation for a strong navy, I allow it. Put in some more South Havens. I got three more South Haven class and building. Uh, diplomatic solution. <laughs> that kind of upset the Americans. It looks like I'm in danger of going to war with Russia and America at the same time. Mm -hmm. All right, that was a huge drop in tensions. High drums, high tensile steel. <laughs> and there it shoots right back up with Russia again. Almost time, I think, to design a new battleship. It's been a couple of years. Yeah, tensions are just jumping all over the place. Let's go ahead and design a new battleship. Let's see what the AI wants to throw at us. Let's see. 
13 inch guns yeah kind of eh uh 19 knots of speed that's good for this age um armor needs a little fixing but it's close uh six inch secondaries encasement's okay let's get rid of these useless tertiaries all right now let's fix the armor two inches belt is 11. secondaries are 5.5 .5. that's good Get some more main gun ammo here. Good. Yeah, I like this ship. And I got some room left over for expansion later. Now the 13 inch gun right now kind of sucks, but since it's a 13 inch gun, I can upgrade it later when I get better gun technology. Uh, 7.6 at point blank range. Yes, 7.5 at point blank range. So yeah, 13 inch gun is still slightly better. Redoubtable, huh? All right. There we go. And private ship building's coming through for me again. Uh, handle it quietly. I don't want to fight Japan. They're too far away. Mine warfare. Really need that much. Um, let's build some forts here in England. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's the best we they can come up with. Generally speaking, Russian ships aren't very good. All right, build screen. Go ahead and build a redoubtable. Private shipbuilding's really coming through for us. All right, Bedford. Uh, some average ships. The training crews, after all. Uh, yes, we'll take the offer. And we can always complain. Ah, three center lane turrets. <laughs> Don't you know? The Dreadnought Age is here, 1903. So let's go ahead and design a Dreadnought. Centurion. So, six 13 inch guns. Six inch secondaries, no tertiaries. All right, we got 20 knots, 10 inches of belt. Let's go 11 inches of belt. Deck extended two, for top, I don't care. And well, let's give some more ammo here. I don't remember how much the original Dreadnought weighed. I think it was somewhat close to this. Of course, it was a um, 10 gun layout, not a 6 gun layout. But since this is my first Dreadnought, it has to have this name. It's mandatory. There we go. Central firing, of course. But I'll get the option to rework the red knot design. Uh, 
Uh, no. I don't want to split the class up. Uh, Navy's not a tool for increasing their profits. Increase subdivision, that's good. CASX, all right. Pneumatic recuperator. All right, I'm gonna rework the design and go to central firing. No. Like I said, I don't want to split the class. All right. DP Dreadnought is ready for construction. So let's get two of these going. And here we are, folks. The Dreadnought era is upon us. And it'll be... I think it'll finish in 1905. I don't want to go to China right now. Basic weight control. Come on, Russia, either. Cooper, get off the pot here. Yes. Diving planes. All right. Let's see if I can fix these. All right, well, first of all, central firing. Now, if I give it, I want to give it more ammo, but if I do, that's going to turn this into a one-year rebuild. Eh, I think this will work. Got better fire control, and the secondary is more balanced. There we go. They're going in for a rebuild. And yeah, let's see here. Overall, I'm very happy with how our navy is looking right now. We might go to war with Russia at any time. So, uh, insufficient. Let's put you guys on foreign stations. They'll need more. All right, you guys can go on foreign stations. There we go. Well, um, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and join me for episode two when hopefully we go to war with Russia.